And welcome back, folks, to uh, the Global Tribute 2019, the uh, Preliminary League. Yeah, because obviously last week we had the European Preliminary League, and now we've, we've now uh, ventured across uh, across Russia and into Asia. Indeed. You know, so uh, conveniently of the fact that Russia is uh, one of our teams that had already qualified for the Global Trophy, so there we go. Indeed. After, Indeed. Uh, uh, after some great performances. Yep, absolutely. So we're into Asia now, and again, these are the uh, these are the top sixteen teams that uh, couldn't make it into the uh, top twenty four uh, to qualify for the global trophy. The top eight being the uh, quarter finalists from last year's qualifiers, mm -hmm. and the sixteen after that being the top sixteen in the FIFA rankings. Asia being Asia and Oceania, we've merged them together because Australia. Yep, Australia were. Are a dominant powerhouse in Oceania, as in they won every league, every uh, bracket, sorry, until um, 2015 when they merged. And since then, they've won the 2015, sorry, the 2016, 17, and 18 Asia sections of uh, the Global Trophy as well. Yeah. So, um, this time we once again do have another, uh, uh, another new team, which will be Ooh. represented by another team. Uh, but we'll yeah. get to that in a bit when we get to the league. So let's go. So first oh, yes. off, we're going to go for the um, uh, the dud team here. And oh the, dear, the poor dud team. The poor dud team who's going to have terrible luck. Again. Again. What's, what's like, uh, who was it last time? Faroe Islands. Faroe Islands, yeah, they just didn't turn up, did they? Yeah, so it's Cambodia for this one. Oh, right. Well, the dud team. Uh, next team to just barely make it through is uh, everyone's favourite... Used to be half Christmas tree looking flag, Nepal. Yes, Nepal. Are you eating while you're doing this? I am. I've got some bourbon biscuits. Great. <laughs> I've only got one more, so it's alright. The quality, folks, the quality. See, I haven't had, I haven't even got like any drink of water or anything. I've got, got a cup of tea and some bourbon biscuits, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm living my life out here. Right, you're, you're literally just having a massive snack. While yep. you're, while you're doing I, I, I am a massive snack. Great, well. I, well. <laughs> there are better words than snack, I think, but, you know, it's just fine. <laughs> right, um, so, Nepal is first up. Next up, it is Indonesia. I don't really know much about Indonesia, apart from the fact that it's on a it's on a fault line in the um, uh, in terms of um, the tectonic plates in the world. Mm. Isn't, that a, a, isn't that just like the place where there's, like, a massive amount of islands? It's all, like, Asia's Greece. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's sort of like Greece, but, like, it's, it's on a fault line in, in um, on tectonic plates, so there's loads of... Volcanoes and such around Indonesia. And don't say you never learn anything on this channel. Yeah, we, we're educational, mate. <laughs> uh, like how not to do YouTube videos. Well, on this channel yep. specifically, on your channel, you do it pretty well, but you know. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, the, the, the views don't lie, mate, so there you go. Uh, 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 there you go. Yeah. Anyway, um, our next team is the new team. A new team added in. Um, it is New Caledonia have actually uh, been able to make it through, barely, but they have been able to make it through. What happened to the old one? What happened to the old... What happened to Zealand? I don't know. What happened to, what happened to Caledonia? Don't know. There, there we go. Very Fra simple. France didn't want it anymore. Oh, oh okay. No. Anyway, uh, but they will be represented. They haven't got as much luck this time. Which is a bit of a shame. No, so obviously Montenegro were replaced by uh, Australia. Yeah, which is a, pr a pretty decent pick, I'd say. While yep. New Caledonia have got the African country Mauritius. Mm. Because not, of their... Not, uh, not quite the same level. Yeah, because of their uh, because of their FIFA rankings. I think they're something down in like the 160 mark at some point. So, yeah, they got a pretty low FIFA ranking. So, yep, they've got the, uh, the team that's below them, which is Mauritius. Mauritius is a team that didn't even make it into the African in the African preliminaries. Oh wow! So, so good luck to so New Caledonia. Oh, so, 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 so New Caledonia slash Mauritius can actually enter as their own uh, own entity. Yeah, if they get that far. Let's oh, see me. how New Cal Mauritius does. Next up, representing Oceania, we have Fiji. Fiji, yeah, they they, like, they always seem to qualify, didn't they? Back when it was the Oceania League separately, they were they were a big team in terms of uh. In terms of that, 
epic yeah. area of the world. However, I'd say probably third to Australia, New Zealand. I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why so they, they would always qualify because obviously it used to be four teams that qualified, wasn't it? Yeah, and that just. Why did I not think of that sooner? You know, to just I... merge, merge Asia and Oceania together, and then just have eight go through from each. Makes it so much easier, much better as well. I was yeah, it's very dumb. true. It's very I, true. I was a dummy. Anyway, next up is Vanuatu, also representing Oceania. Oceania. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. And also representing Oceania, we have Tahiti. Didn't Tahiti, um... They, they, didn't they play at the, um, what's it called a few years ago? The uh, Confederations Cup. And they uh, scored against Spain, didn't they? I'm sure did, they did. Did they? I'm sure they scored against Spain. I'm not sure, really. The Confederations Cup is, the own, is probably one of the only bit of football involved a European team that I actually don't watch or keep a note no, the, of. So. The Confederations Cup is the World Cup winner, the host of the next World Cup. The European Cup winner, the Asia Cup winner, so yeah, on and so and forth. Yeah, and all those, yeah. And I, I, I know, I, I played Football Manager 2005, you know. <laughs> I, I managed England to like nine World Cups in a row. Come at me. I also <laughs> I also took Leeds to the Premier League title, so there you go. Shocking. But anyway, Leeds. yeah, as, as I say, I think, I'm fairly sure Tahiti did, did, uh, did play. Ah, fair enough then. Well, uh... If they scored against Spain, that's pretty decent. Maybe we'll see them against Spain in the finals! No. I don't think so. Might do, though. Anyway, next up, it is also representing uh, Oceania. The last team to represent Oceania here, we have the Solomon Islands, the highest-ranked team from Oceania in this uh, preliminaries. Obviously, Australia and New Zealand have already gone through. Yeah. Obviously, Australia and New Zealand are fairly favourited to probably qualify at the end. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, now we get to the next eight teams. Uh, all of these are representing Asia here. First one, we have Kuwait. Yeah, Kuwait's a, a team. <laughs> Next, we have <laughs> the Maldives. Really uh, Maldives is always a place I've wanted to visit. There's a lot of places you want to visit. I think, wasn't there, um, there one in the European sector you wanted to visit as well? Oh, hang on a second. Was my that Faroe Islands? Uh, possibly. I think the Faroe Islands is a very pretty uh, country as far as I can remember. But uh, yeah, I, I'm always... You know, Maldives is a really beautiful country. And I really hope that they uh, they do well, but I don't think they will do. They're known for their, their lush gold beaches and their you know their beautiful oceans rather than their football. <laughs> mm, fair enough. Well, that would probably be the same for Brazil if Brazil weren't a good rather team. Than, well, no, Brazil... Yeah, exactly. Brazil have footballing heritage, that's yeah. the thing. They, they have amazing rolling. You know, it's brilliant. Oh, dear. Neymar Jr. Right. Uh, next up is Afghanistan. It's a country. Uh, it, it's, it's a country that America has been, America's been at war with for many years. Yes. Uh, I, I don't know if they still are anymore, but... I, I, don't, I don't think so. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. Was, well, geography is fine. Politics is not, we're not so we're not, we're, not so, we're not so strong with. Yeah. Uh, next up is uh, Hong Kong. Hong Kong is it, it, it's more, is it more of a principality than, say, a country? I'd say so. Well, it used to be owned by the British until about 97, so... Yeah. I know that Hong... much because Hong Kong 97. The yeah, game. Hong, Hong Kong is obviously... Um, yeah, I was obviously based in China, but I'm, I'm fairly sure it's a principality, much like, um, what, say, Mon uh, uh, Monaco is to France. Yeah, Monaco is to France, San Marino is to Italy, yeah. obviously Va Vatican City is to Italy as well, so that's Vatican sort of City hasn't got a football team, like where's Vatican City's football team? Where's, where is Pope? Where yeah, is the Pope? Pope a striker. Pope a striker and some ministers around Oh, hang, hang on a minute, no, no, hang on, that, that won't work, Port Vale's done that, and they're shit, so there you go. <laughs> I'm a crew fan, I'm allowed to say it, you're scum. Right, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Nick Powell been doing well recently. What? Nick Powell's been playing really well recently. Yeah, finally. <laughs> if he just stayed at crew, he might have actually, you know, we might actually be in that position instead of those wankers at Wigan. There you go. But yeah, Port Vale, you scum. I'm allowed to say that. I said I'm allowed to say that. You'd say the same thing about Birmingham. I've got too many blue Blues fans in my family. <laughs> You'd, you'd still do it being a villain. Yeah, 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 it's true, it's true, it's true. All right, next up we have, uh, we have, a uh, Burma. They're Burma? Just, they're put down as Myanmar, so they go, it, it's, it's, it's Burma. Burma. 
Burma. Uh, first, how old this game is. Put it down as Myanmar. There you go. But there we go. Next up, we have... Um, I, I kind of hope my dad doesn't know this team exists. Or he'd break out his Jamaican accent again. For like is it Jamaica? A millionth time. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he just likes to pull out a Jamaican accent every so often because he's an idiot. All a right. lovable idiot, but an idiot nonetheless. It's Yemen. 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 Oh, uh, Yemen so is part many. of the... Uh, sound, it, well, it, aren't they being kicked out of the Saudi countries? I'm sure they are. Not sure, really. I can't remember. There's, sure. there's something about them being kicked out of the Saudi countries. Hmm. Um... Yeah, so many wasted nights at the pub just to try and get away from the Jamaican accent. It's just, uh... Oh, dear. So many wait, And I was on there on my own, but they go, this is better. This is just better. <laughs> right, next up is Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan, one of the many stands in the uh, Global Trophy. Mm-hmm. I don't really know what else to say about that, really. Yeah, I mean, how many stands are actually in the Global Trophy? So you have one, two... There's two in this uh, preliminaries. Then we have three, four, four. The other two Ka are Uzbekistan and Tajikistan. Where's Kazakhstan? Or is that class as Europe? Kazakhstan class as class Europe. Um, ah. Then there's Kyrgyzstan, but that doesn't count anymore because it's now called Kyrgyz Republic. Well, the, Kyr the Kyrgyz Republic. The Kyrgyz Republic. The Kyrgyz Republic. It's like technically the Czech Republic shouldn't happen anymore because that's called Czechia now. Is that true? I didn't know they changed. Yeah. Well, apparently, well. According to Google Maps, it has. My dog just sneezed. <laughs> like it's no longer called Czech Republic. It's called Czechia. I mean, you know. It's weird. Sure, sure. Go Why for change it? it? If... England will be called England Land. Or something, I don't know. Well, that's what it's already called, isn't it? It's called according to Americans. If bo nah, we're, we're just limey land. That's what we are. Oh, you know. oh okay. okay. Makes full, sense. Full of, full of tea, drunks, top hats and bad teeth. Even though, on a, on, a, uh, on a census, we actually have better teeth than America do. It's true. Yeah. It's because we get free free dental care. Yeah. Thanks, Obama. Right. Yep. And uh, last lot, but not least, Chinese Taipei is the uh, the top-ranked team here. Well, you know, Chinese Taipei, I, I, I can't really comment on them because I don't really know much about them, but I imagine they're different to regular Taipei. I think they're the same, I think. Oh, it's the same country? Because I know that once upon a time, Chinese Taipei had the bit tallest building in the world. And they were also known as Taiwan, weren't they? No, oh. Taipei and Taiwan are two different countries. Oh, Alright. Uh, well, Ta Ray Ta Rumble Ta Boxing Ta got that wrong then, didn't they? Because Taipei had... Um, well, no, maybe, maybe they are different countries. Maybe Ta Taipei and Taiwan are different countries. But I know there was a building in, in uh, one of those countries called Taipei 101. Alright, oh, yeah, yeah. And it was, it was over half a kilometre tall. Great. Okay. Well, it's a big old, big old thing. Scale up that, and you've got yourself your uh, your old Pokemon Go step sword. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, it doesn't work for altitude, does it? Damn. No, no, no. It's only longitude. Ah. Ah. Well. Yeah. All right. So Cambodia's our dud team. Let's go. Sixteen teams. Uh, Who's your money on before, before we start? Do you know what? I'm actually going to put my money on Turkey. Who's going to win? You think Turkmenistan's going to win win the whole thing? Tur Turkmenistan are pretty good. What money on what? The what, m m money on who, who's going to win this league? Oh, this league. Uh, yeah, I'd yeah. probably say Turkmenistan or Kuwait. I'm going to go with um, I'm going to go with Fiji to qualify at least. I don't know if they're going to win it, but I reckon they'll qualify. Well, it is top eight, but you want to be in that top seven to qualify, so... It's very, very true, very true, very true. First match, Cambodia versus Afghanistan. I've got to say, Afghanistan's flag actually looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah. It's like, um, it's like, uh, uh horizontal, three horizontal stripes. Uh, the middle is white, the bottom is black, and the top is sort of like a really, really cool-looking green. Oh, yeah. With like a, I think it's like a crown or something like in the middle, I don't know. But yeah, I like me I like me flags. You know, some flags look awesome. Some like Libya, well, old Libya look pretty bad. Old Libya had the the the, the... yeah, but nothing nothing will ever beat Lebanon with its Christmas tree. Oh no, Lebanon's flag is great. Lebanon's flag is awesome, but old Li like they've changed Libya's, they've changed it now. But their older one used to be as basic as buggery. But wasn't it just it was just a green flag, wasn't it? It was just a green rectangle. That's it. Yeah. 
All right, so we've just done our first um, uh, our first match was Cambodia versus Afghanistan, and uh, Cambodia they just woke up late and didn't make it. So there you go, three 0 win for Afghanistan by default. There you go, Afghanistan off to a flying start. Yes. Uh, next up is Fiji versus Hong Kong. So uh, yeah, uh, the team that you one of your, uh, your teams that you picked to qualify here. Have yep. won four nil against Hong Kong. Good start for go. Fiji. The boys, Fiji. Yep. Next up is Kuwait, one of the teams that I picked to win the entire thing, the entire league versus Indonesia, and it's not going so well for me. It's a draw. <laughs> right. Maldives versus New Caledonia, Mauritius. Yeah, New Caledonia and the Mauritius. <laughs> it's actually a win for New Caledonia. Two nil wow. against Maldives. There you go. Good start. Myanmar like... versus Nepal. It's got to be Myanmar, hasn't it? Surely. Surely. It's an 8-0 win for Myanmar. Yeah, Nepal are rubbish in this game. Why are they so bad? They are just bad. They are one of the teams alongside Macau and Niger that you just put in just to see a fun scoreline. At least that'll be, the, that's what it was when I first got this game. So One of those yeah. kind of teams. Yeah, one of those kind of teams. It's like why put San Marino in the European qualifiers for. You know that they're going to get bummed. Yeah, but it's, it's worth it, right? If they end up with, like, a France or, like, an Italy or something, Remember it's great. when they got Germany? Remember that? Was that 13 nil? Something like that, yeah. I can't... I remember... In, in, in real life, I'm sure they won the last 13 nil to Germany or, oh, or like, yeah. Poland or something like that. Yeah. I can't remember. I think it was Germany, I think. Yeah. Anyway, next up is uh, Tahiti versus Solomon Islands. Two Oceania teams? Oceanic teams. Oceanic teams, yeah, of course. It's a win for Tahiti. There you go, mate. Tahiti. I told you, mate, they're world class. They, beat, they scored against Spain. They beat Solomon Islands. That's just... Yeah, man. It's not like they beat Argentina or something. Look, look at that big energy, mate. All right. Me. Next up is uh, Vanuatu versus Yemen. I have no idea, but I'm going to go with uh, Vanuatu because it sounds cooler. I think it's Yemen. It is Yemen, 3 0. Next up is Turkmenistan versus Chinese Taipei. Mm, tough one. It's a win for Turkmenistan, 2-1. There you go. Next up, Fiji versus Afghanistan. Fiji for me. It's a draw, 0-0. Yeah, that's a shame. Fiji stay top for the moment. Give it time. Yep, Cambodia versus Hong Kong next up. So Hong Kong going to get three points here. From Cambodia. Who accidentally went to China by mistake. Oh, did they? They went the wrong way. Mm. Well, they, well, they thought the Hong Kong was actually in China itself. Ah, uh, it's not. But it's it's not. So they, they, it's, yeah. on, it's, on, it's on the coast, isn't it? I think. Yeah, but so like they they thought it was like the center of China. They actually went to Beijing. Oh well, you know this is why I went wrong. You see. And then they thought, okay, well, they they got there a bit early. Fair enough. And the, their maps are sadly very out of date. So they went to Britain afterwards. Oh dear. I know. It's you know. It's unlucky, man. It's unlucky. I know. It's a really, you know, it's a really unfortunate they situation. Still beat, they they still had a friendly match randomly against the Match United first team and still won. So there oh. you go. Oh, there you go. Man United are not doing very well right now, are they in the league? They, they, they're fun. They are rubbish so far. They're not terrible, but they're yeah, not they, good. Yeah, they drew with Wolves. That's not good, though. They're like mid-table right now. I think them and Arsenal are doing just as bad. Oh dear. I mean, like what, the top three at the moment are like what, uh, uh, well, when we're recording this, which is uh, end of September, so don't worry, things might have changed since then. Uh, but it's like what, Chelsea, Man City and Liverpool? Yeah, Liverpool looking really good, to be fair. Yeah. Right, um, Indonesia versus Maldives next up. In our next match. Uh, Maldives very low. Uh, Indonesia not as low. It's a 12 nil victory for Indonesia. Oh dear. Oh dear, Maldives. Oh dear. All went, get... bit... went, bit... went a bit wrong for yeah. uh, the Maldives there, didn't it? I feel like that with this qualifier, we're going to get a lot of high scores here. I think so. I mean, we've had an 8 nil, now we've had a 12 nil. What else? Kuwait versus, uh, versus New Caledonia here. It's a 5 1 win for Kuwait. There you go, there's your prediction. See, I said about Kuwait, they're bloody good. They're bloody good in the qualifiers. They'll, they'll probably make it, I think. Solomon Islands next versus Myanmar. Burma. Um, 7-0 win for Myanmar. 
good, good effort there from Myanmar. Nepal versus Tahiti. 2 0 win for Tahiti. Tahiti, one of only two teams at the moment to have won all their games so far. What a great, great, great start team. for Tahiti. Yeah, yeah they, they started off with a, with a good start. You know, mm. Obviously, we well, of course, not expected them to, you know, do that well in terms of the well, grand scheme of things, but they do it well so far. They could be the Russia of the league. You never know. It's true. Turkmenistan next versus Vanuatu. I have no idea which way this one's going to go. Well, I do. It's a 10 0 win for Turkmenistan. Oh. And Yemen versus Chinese Taipei. Hopefully, this will be a lot closer. It is. It's 2 1 to Chinese Taipei. Well done to them. Next up is Hong Kong versus Afghanistan. Hong Kong currently 10th, Afghanistan currently 7th. We're, at eighth, we're over an eighth of the way through the league. Hooray! And it's a 4 1 win for Afghanistan. It puts them first, barely for the moment. Fiji's next up, and they're going to get three points against Cambodia because Cambodia. They tried, they tried, they tried swimming. No, uh, Cambodia actually went to Montenegro. You're joking. No, they went to Montenegro. They saw the whole. You know, last week's qualifiers. Ah, uh, they got they went the wrong way. The, the worst thing is they actually then went to Montenegro's um, uh, coach firm to get a coach. Uh, and, and and the coach drive went the wrong way, so they're going to miss their next one as well. Such a rotten bit of luck, that is. No. I can't wait to do the compilation of this afterwards. <laughs> Where did everyone go during their... Uh... <laughs> Where did the dud teams go? Where have all the dud teams gone? That's a good one. Where have all the dud teams gone? Right. Um, next up is New Caledonia versus Indonesia. Indonesia not doing too bad right now. New Caledonia and Mauritius, obviously. Yep. Together. What? Together. How do you mean? Well, they're, they're, they're operating together. They're, they're, they're a yes. joint team at this point. But New Caledonia. So, New Caledonia versus Indonesia. Indonesia are 6th. New Caledonia currently 10th. And it's a 5-0 win for Indonesia. Big team, aren't they, Indonesia, in this, yeah. in this sector. So Coming off knows? their 12-0 victory before. And now, uh, now they're top at the moment. They are indeed. Kuwait versus... Oh, God. Kuwait versus Maldives. This, this can only go badly. Yep. The Maldives. Wow. Maldives won. Kuwait, 19. Wow, that's one off the record, isn't it? What is the... You got the... You the, got record, the record's 19-0. Oh, it's so close to equal the record, Kuwait. Kuwait, 19-1. I believe... Um, I can't remember who did it. I, I haven't got my PCL at the moment, but uh, I can't remember who did it. It was... I know there was an African team that did it. I think Morocco hold it, don't they? Oh, oh yeah, I think I remember, yeah. Morocco and... I think... And, I want to say an Asian team as well. I'm not sure. Hang on, I'll just check the uh, the, the old fact sheet. Uh, yeah, versus Somalia. And Iran versus the Cook Islands. Yeah, 19 nil is the record, so... Oh, they were so close! One goal off. One goal off for Kuwait. I wonder if you could actually even had get it, had a 20 it, on this game. Had it been 20, obviously they would have taken yeah, that the record. Yeah, that would have been the new record. Because obviously they, it was goals scored. Yeah, that would have been the new record. Next up is Tahiti versus Myanmar. Burma. Burma. And it's a win for Burma. Um, they have not let in a goal yet, and they have won all their games so far. So, but mine are looking pretty good. It's so far, so good for them. Yeah. Solomon Arns versus Nepal are next up. And it's Can a draw. Get Nepal get a point, and so do the Solomon Arns. There we go. Good start. Next up is Vanuatu versus Chinese Taipei. Vanuatu currently in 15th. Not looking very good right now. Uh, versus Chinese Taipei, who are currently 9th. They need a win here, and they're probably going to get one. They do, but it's it's not a it's a close-ish match for well the twelve well, well, the nineteen one. ones we've got so far, which is four one. Oh. Next Bad up, is, yep. Next up is Yemen versus Turkmenistan. Two teams that are actually uh, contesting for that top eight. Turkmenistan in sixth, Yemen in ninth. Use your money on then. I got to say Turkmenistan to be honest. It is Turkmenistan one nil. There you go. Turkmenistan become uh, only the second team to uh, be on uh, nine points after three games alongside Myanmar. So Turkmenistan in the second place. Doing right, aren't they, Turkmenistan? Yeah. Next up is Indonesia versus Afghanistan. Fourth versus sixth. 
Very important match for both teams. I've got a send for me. It's a win for Indonesia, 2-0. Oh wow, Indonesia really stepped up their form. They yep. started, quite, started quite poorly, didn't they? But they've, they've started, started to rack up the wins. Yep, next up is uh, Kuwait versus Cambodia. And this is the match that Cambodia obviously you know, missed out on because... Yeah, they went the wrong way. They, they, they went the wrong way. And, and they, went, they went to Montenegro of all places. Yeah, exactly. The, and you know, then, the, and the, then the, their bus driver actually just randomly took them to Nakas Bar. In, um, uh, uh, in 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 Barrow in in England, in Somerset. So, yeah, just oh, randomly right. took him to Knackers Bar for his lunch. Well, I mean, you know, if, you, if you're hungry for some Knackers, you know, sometimes you have to do it. It's actually called. I can't remember what it's called. You see that? I think it was actually called Crackers Bar, but I just need to remember it being called Knackers Bar. Maybe maybe the sign was broken. No, no, no. I think it's, it's just probably like a Mandela effect or something like that. I don't know. Maybe. But yeah, I just remember it just knackers bar. It was great. Kuwait move up into first for the moment, but uh, Fiji, who have done pretty well so far. I think they, you know, considering you know, I, I predicted them that they, they'd qualify. I didn't expect them to be doing as well as they have been. Yeah, well, they haven't let in a goal yet. They're one of two teams to have not let in a goal yet. The other one being but Myanmar, Burma. Um, so Fiji have got the Maldives. So this should be a win for Fiji. It should be. It is four nil win for Fiji. So far, so good. Yep, next up is New Caledonia, Mauritius versus Hong Kong. 10th versus 11th here. It's an important match for both teams. Yep, absolutely. It's a win for Mauritius, New Caledonia, with a 2-1 win over Hong Kong, putting them up into 9th place. So they might sneak into this uh, this top uh, top set, you never know. Yeah, the top 8, you never know. Uh, Vanuatu have got Myanmar next. And it's up. It's only a 1-0 win for Myanmar. Good performance there from Vanuatu. Myanmar obviously still picking up those Ws. They were away, to be fair to them, so... Yeah. Uh, next up is Yemen versus Nepal. Yemen, who currently lie in 10th. They need a win here against Nepal. And they do. Very convincingly. 9-0. Poor old Nepal. I'm, I'm waiting wait for uh, Q8 to play Nepal. I'm waiting for Nepal to play Maldives and see oh what happens god, there. Oh god, that's gonna be a Maldives idiot. are currently bottom. Like, let's put it way, Cambodia are above Maldives and Vanuatu so far. So far, so good. I mean, Cambodia have a an extra twenty four goal difference over Maldives. That's incredible. <laughs> Poor guys. All right. Um, next <sighs> up, it is Turkmenistan versus the Solomon Islands. Turkmenistan currently lying. Fifth, Solomon Islands in 12th. They need a win here, Solomon Islands. They only have one point to their name. Nope, they get crushed 12 nil. Ouch. Uh, oh dear. Turkmenistan move up to first. So at the moment, it's Turkmenistan and Myanmar. I'm pulling away so far. It's very conceivable that um, someone could finish below Cambodia in this league. No. No, no it is because someone could lose twice. They could, they could lose every game. Dud team get Oh, point. yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> You get point. Right. Um, Tahiti versus Taipei next to round off the fourth fixture. Eighth versus ninth. Very important match this is. Both teams on six points. And it's a win for Tahiti. There you go, mate. They're, they're, they're doing some good stuff. Tahiti. Yeah, Tahiti and Fiji doing pretty well so far representing Oceania. Yeah, so far so good. You know, they've, they've, they've really stepped up considering they're the only two that are actually, you know, competing in the... Uh, from, you know, Oceana in this league. They're doing well, really you well. you have Solomon Islands and Vanuatu, but they're not really, okay. they're not really competing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're not competing, are they? They're so fodder. They're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so at the end of uh, the first quarter, we have Yemen in eighth, Afghanistan's in seventh, Tahiti is sixth, Fiji is fifth, Indonesia is fourth, Kuwait is third, Myanmar is, fir is second, and Turkmenistan is first. Turkmenistan in the lead. Yep. Myanmar uh, have not let in a single goal yet. Nor have Fiji. Crazy stuff. Next up is Afghanistan versus Kuwait. Seventh versus third. Big important match here for Afghanistan and Kuwait for that matter. It is a 2-0 win for Afghanistan. They needed that go. victory. They did enough. Indonesia are going to get three points against Cambodia because uh, Cambodia didn't know which island they needed to go to. Oh, that's a shame. It was bad, bad post order to tell them sort of like where it was. It was a pager of all things, a pager. A they pager don't told them anymore. like like which island to go to, but there are so many that that, that that they by the time they found out what it was, it was already two days after anyway. So 
Yeah. It's a right shame. At the moment, Cam Cambodia have done... Yeah, they've done so well. They're, they're in 14th right now. They're not doing that bad. They're doing right. There are teams below them. Yeah. Considering, considering you know, they've uh, obviously lost every game so far. Not bad. <laughs> not too bad at all. They just haven't been crushed so far, so that's a good thing. Yeah, it's, it's very, it's like they're only losing 3-0, which is good, I suppose. And our man of the match is Mr. S. Hargono. Yeah. Hargono. Alright, next up is Mauritius versus Fiji. Oh, sorry, New Caledonia versus Fiji. New Caledonia currently in 10th, Fiji in 5th. This, this, this is a, 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 you know, if Fiji get this, this is a, a real opportunity to, to, to keep growing. It is a 2 0 win for Fiji! There you go, they're still Fiji going. Fiji move to second now. Wow. What a great story this is. Oh god, Hong Kong versus Maldives. Oh god. Oh dear. It's a draw! Maldives get a point! No way! Maldives have got a point against Hong Kong. Hong Kong, also not a good team, to be honest, in this game. No. Uh, but yeah, that now leaves Vanuatu below Cambodia for the moment. Myanmar, next up, they're against Yemen. So it's fourth versus eighth here. And it's a win for Myanmar, and they go back to first. There you go, Myanmar. Still looking... haven't let in a goal yet. They might sneak into this... Uh... Mm. This bracket. Next up, it's a battle between two teams that are both pretty bad. Nepal and Vanuatu. <laughs> it's going to be a nil-nil draw. It's a 2-1 win for Nepal, actually. Oh, wow. Nepal get the win over Vanuatu. Next up, it's the Solomon Islands, who are currently ranked number 13, below Nepal. So that's never good. Versus that's Chinese crazy. Taipei, who are currently ninth. No way, that's crazy. Yep, and it's a 2-1 win for Taipei, who move into 8th above Yemen. Next is, Next is Tahiti versus Turkmenistan. Two teams in the top 8 here. In the final fixture of the 5th fixture, it's a draw! Wow. Tahiti, keep it on moving on. They, they, they're going to sneak into this, aren't they? Well, for the moment, they are a point ahead of Taipei in 8th. But the, the top 8 are looking pretty solid. There's... Three points between Taipei in 8th and Yemen in 9th so far. Mm. Next up is Afghanistan versus Maldi- Oh, God. Here we go. This is it. 15-1. Oh, my goodness me. 15-1 for Afghanistan. Uh, Cambodia have got uh, New Caledonia next. That's three points for uh, Mauritius, New Caledonia. So that's 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 pretty decent. Not at all. And uh, what happened is uh, they, they went to France. And then they thought, okay, a principality. Oh, maybe it's Mor maybe it's Monaco. And then they just stayed there and watched the Grand Prix instead. Well, wouldn't, wouldn't you? I mean, Monaco's a spectacular country. Well, true, yes. I, I, I would if I didn't already have something to do for my country. I mean, the moment Cambodia That's being true. embarrassed. That's true. It's true. They, 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 need to have a, they need to have a think about these things, don't they? Well, the problem is that like, they're already uh, like a third of the way through the competition. Quite well, a bit too well, late at, this point, at this point, they might as well just give up. To be fair, might they? Yeah, they might as well just go home. And uh, wow, okay. Um, and the man of the match was apparently for Cambodia. It was Mr. P T Can. Can he? P. Dot T. Can. K A N. Can he, can he though? That's the real question. P T. P T. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. P T Can. All right. Speaking of uh, can, can uh, Indonesia try and can the great run that Fiji's on at the moment? Nice segue there. No, very um, good. Uh, it's Indonesia versus Fiji. It's a 2 0 win for Indonesia. Fiji lose their first match. It's a shame, but I think that's their first goal conceded, isn't it? Uh, yes, their first two goals conceded. It was a 2 0 win for Indonesia. Next up is Kuwait versus Hong Kong. Kuwait in sixth so far. I think Kuwait will probably win this one. Yeah, they need to keep the pressure on uh, the, the rest, pretty much. And that's a 5 0 win for uh, Kuwait. That's going to do it. Turkmenistan versus Myanmar. Myanmar, one of three teams to have not lost. Turkmenistan being the one of the other teams to have not lost a game yet. But Myanmar have not letting a goal yet either. My money's on Myanmar. Oh, they've let in a goal now. They've let in two, actually. A 2 0 win for Turkmenistan. Oh, wow. So that, that, that's a crucial game because obviously there is only one leg. Yep. So that's that's their leg. Next up, Chinese Taipei versus Nepal here. It's a 
Oh, wow, it's only a 1-0 win for Taipei. I was expecting a lot more than that. Crazy. Yeah, so uh, now Turkmenistan and Indonesia, the only two teams to have not lost a game yet. That's crazy. I mean, obviously, Indonesia, you know, they, they have that early draw, but since then they've been really strong. I mean, they've been, you know, excellent, let's face it. And, you know, so far, I'd say the, you know, the more likely team to win this is probably Indonesia, because they are realistically a, a bigger team than Turkmenistan. Yeah. Uh, However, next... you know, Turkmenistan are the ones that have won every game. Yep. Next up, uh, two teams that have not won a game yet. You're on the other side of the spectrum. It's Vanuatu versus the Solomon Islands. This, this is a, a big match. The two Oceania nations aren't going to qualify, probably. It's a 2-1 win for Vanuatu. And they have won a game. Solomon Islands move down to 14th. Maldives, uh... slight, well, way more below than them. Six games in, minus 50 goal difference. Minus 50. Two goals scored, 52 goals against. Goodness me. Right, next up, uh, Tahiti versus Yemen to finish off the uh, sixth, sixth fixture. fixture. Mm, I think my money's going to be with uh, with Tahiti again here. Oh, it's a win for Yemen. Oh, dear. That 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 makes things a lot more interesting now. Let's put it this way. Between 10th and 11th, there is five points in it. So I'd say anywhere above 10th, you still have kind of a shot. However... You do have kind of a shot. If you're, if you're 11th or below, you don't have a shot. So Hong Kong... Nepal, Vanuatu, Solomon Islands, Maldives, and obviously Cambodia, because I they've they are, they've given up. They, they, they withdrew, so that's so every game will now be forfeited. There you go. Yeah, forfeit. Why didn't you do that from the start instead of having to think for this? Because it's oh, funny. God. Yeah, it's funny exactly. Right. Next up, it is New Caledonia, who currently lie in tenth, Mauritius, versus um, Afghanistan, who are currently in fifth. Afghanistan for me. It is a four 0 win for Afghanistan, looking strong, Mauritius. I, I, I'd say that top eight is starting to get to a point now where, you know, that, that top eight is looking fairly solid. It's just who finishes eighth. Um, well, for the moment, but that, that, that win for Yemen against Tahiti has certainly helped out. There's now only one point's difference. Oh, wow. So there you go. Maldives are going to get three points because Cambodia gave up. Yeah, they, they obviously have withdrew. So that's three points for Maldives, but technically then they still haven't won a game they've actually wanted to play for. So there we go. <laughs> yeah. Maldives the winners, uh, with our referee, Mr. K. Cooper. Oof. Good old K. Cooper, Ken Cooper. Yes, yes, yes. Kenny Cooper. Kenny Cooper, or maybe it's uh, Tommy, Carl. Tommy, Carl Cooper. Carl Cooper. <laughs> Carl Carlson Cooper. Carl Carlson Cuthbert Cooper. Cooper? Cooper. Cuthbert Kuba. Yes. Why do I keep saying Kuba? And Mr. A. Ahmed was the man of the match of that one for Maldives. There oh, there you go. go. They deserve winners. Yeah, so uh, a 3-0 victory for Maldives puts them above Vinwatu and Solomon Arns, who have, uh, well, not played Cambodia yet, so there we go. Uh, Fiji against Kuwait now. Sixth versus fifth. Very important match this. Both teams on the same amount of points. It's a draw! Fiji, powering through still, for the moment. Wow. Hong Kong versus Indonesia now. With uh, New Caledonia's loss, Hong Kong could really do with a win here against Indonesia. It's not going to happen though, is it? Nope, 14-1, nope. Nope, not, not happening. today. <laughs> nope. Nepal move up to 11th. Good old Nepal. They've got four Nepal. points so far. Legendary team. Yep. Myanmar next up. The team that were were at one point the team to beat against uh, now they're against Chinese Taipei, and uh, they can uh, keep the pressure on Indonesia with a win here. It is a win for Myanmar. Three 0 against Taipei. There you go. Myanmar is looking more and more likely to uh, to do it then. Yeah, to be able to qualify. Uh, next up is Nepal. Turkmenistan. It's gonna be a win for Turkmenistan. Yep, nine one. Wow. For Turkmenistan. Yemen, Solomon Islands. We know that's how it's going to go as well. 3 0 Yemen. I don't know. We just know how this is going to go. Tahiti down to ninth now. Oh, it's, it's the, is, is the dream coming apart for. But a 4 0 win for Tahiti against Vanuatu puts them back into seventh. Wow. This, this, this is, this, these, these teams here are just real close together. Well, let's put it this way. Now, between eighth and ninth, there's no points. There's just a 13 goal difference between Yemen and Chinese Taipei. Next it was Myanmar as we go into uh, fiction number eight. Myanmar versus Afghanistan. 
two top teams. My money's got to go on my arm, Rob. It's going to be very close. It's a 3-0 win for Afghanistan. Oh, wow. Good win so for mine... Afghanistan there. Nepal are going to get some points here. They've got Cambodia, who have Obviously already withdrew. withdrawn yep. because of terrible travel directions. Yep. There we go. And Nepal and their lovely half triangle, half Christmas tree flag. Yep. And our referee is Mr. Derek Woolley. Oof. Derek Woolley. Derek Woolley. Woolley. Derek Woolley. 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 Alan. 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 Right. Uh, so, yeah, Cambodia. Um... Oh, wait. I see the players. They're there. They're there. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no. They've gone back in the tunnel. They've given up. Oh. No. Oh. They could have won that as well. They could have done. It's Nepal. It's not the best team in the world, really, is it? Hmm. Anyway, a win for Nepal in the... Uh, again, P.T. Khan Woo. Of, uh, of Cambodia. Right there, good old P.T. Khan, like Cambodia's he's, best player. He's a, he's a great player, mate. Right. Next up, Solomon Islands versus Fiji. It's a 5-0 win for Fiji. They keep moving on. Tahiti have got Hong Kong, which is a 4-0 win for Tahiti. They're moving on too. They, they might squeak into this, Tahiti. They've, they've done a really good job. Yeah, next up is Indonesia versus Vanuatu. That's a win for Indonesia. 13-0, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Yemen versus Kuwait. Very important match for both teams. Kuwait in 7th, Yemen in 8th. Big match. I think, for me, it's going to be a Kuwait win. It is, 1-0. Kuwait move up to 5th. Maldives versus Turkmenistan. 7-0. There you go. Uh, Taipei now uh, in ninth versus in tenth place New Caledonia, Mauritius. Taipei with <laughs> a win can go above Yemen. That's it's critical for the championship. They need to start thinking about the, the long game now because we've only got about half the fixtures left. Yeah, well, it is a draw, so Taipei do move above Yemen. Uh, New Caledonia, Mauritius are not doing so well. They're three behind the eighth, but they're six but behind automatic qualification and no dud. Yeah, that, that's the problem you see because they're, they're going to struggle otherwise to get out of the uh, the league. If they, if, you know, it's it's possible. It is possible. Yeah. It is, but it, it's not a it's not a you know a realistic option at this point to you know to to try and catch Tahiti because Tahiti are in good form and they've played a lot of the hard teams. Yep. Uh, next up is Nepal versus Afghanistan. Six. Uh, Afghanistan for me. Nepal actually got a, a goal. Nice. Wow. 6-1, Actually, though, for Afghanistan, so they keep on moving on. Cambodia will will uh, obviously be losing uh, to Myanmar, but Myanmar getting some points on the board. Yeah, I think will... Myanmar, I think they can consider themselves pretty much qualified at this point. Yeah, well, they'll be on 21 points. They'll be one point behind the top three, who have all got uh, 22 points so far. Wow, that's crazy. And uh, our referee is Mr. S. Redpath. Well. Who comes up <laughs> with these names? It, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you know you've probably met someone with the name Mr. Redpath before. Nope. Oh well, there you go. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> not not like not, not anything with the with like the word path in it. You don't think so? No. Why has someone got a strimmer on the background? Go away. <laughs> Trying to. I'm trying to do something here. And, uh, well, have a guess who the man of the match was, Sam. Was it P.T. Can? It was P.T. Can, indeed. It was good old P.T. Can. Crazy. His best player. Right. Oh, it's the grudge match now. The good Oceana teams. Fiji versus Tahiti here. A win critical, for either team. Critical match for the pair of them. Yeah, a win for either team could definitely, maybe not secure qualification, but get them closer to qualification. It's a 3-0 win for Fiji. There you go. Fiji now seven ahead of eighth. Looking good. Looking good, yep. Yeah. Solomon Islands versus Hong Kong, who cares? It's a 1-0 win for Hong Kong. They care. Hong Kong care. I mean, if, if, I suppose if Hong Kong can pick up wins against all the little teams around them. They might be able to... I don't know. It's they, going to be difficult, though. It's, 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 I'm, I'm assuming everyone else will as well. That's the thing. But yeah. you never know. They, they might get a, a sneak mm. in there. Yep, next up is Indonesia, currently first, top of the table, versus Yemen, who are ninth. Yemen need a win here, but they're against Indonesia, who look pretty much unstoppable right now. Yep. Oh, it's a 1-0 win. It's not much, but it's a win nonetheless. Yeah, in Indonesia, I think they just need to keep winning, and they just need to keep scoring goals. Yep, at the moment, they're doing just that. Vanuatu versus Kuwait, it's a 4-1 win for Kuwait. They will keep on moving up as well. And uh, Taipei have got uh, New Caledonia Maldives. Uh, so... 
Taipei currently in eighth. They need to start making, putting pressure on Tahiti in seventh. And they do that with a 2-0 win. They're, uh, they're on joint points now with Tahiti. Oh, no, hang on. Oh, that's Maldives, sorry. Okay, now, now, it's, now it's New Caledonia, Mauritius. They got Turkmenistan. It's a draw, so Turkmenistan lose points on uh, Indonesia. There you go. Indonesia now too clear as we get into our 10th um, our fixture. So we're getting towards the end now. We're two-thirds of the way through. Yep. Um, Afghanistan versus the Solomon Islands. 15-0 win for Afghanistan. Wow. Uh, Close. Yep. Uh, Tahiti will get points here. They haven't fought uh, Cambodia yet, who have obviously given up and gone home. Yep, they have. They've, uh, they've, but they've uh, the, the only person that stayed, though, is actually PT Mr. Cam. PT Cam. PT Cam has stayed. Also, Tahiti's flag is really bland. Oh. It's literally Argentina's flag without the sun. Oh, well, really? Also, uh, Mr. Dent is the... Um, uh, is, is, is the referee. Any relationship to uh, Susie Dent, the, uh, the diction recorder guru from Countdown? I was thinking more Harvey Dent, maybe. Two and a half men face. Oh, well, maybe. Oh, no. Ha one of the two. What, what of, one of the two. One of the two. Uh, maybe. Probably Dictionary Corner, I'd pick it, because one of them is real and one of them is not. And the man of the match is PC Khan. There you go, you see. PC Khan. All right, next up is Myanmar versus Fiji. Fiji currently lying sixth so far. Myanmar in fourth. It's a win for Myanmar. They move up to third. Nepal versus Hong Kong. It's a match that no one gives a damn about. It's a one win for Nepal. They win again. Nepal sneaking the wins, boys. Yep. Indonesia next up versus Turkmenistan. It's a big match, actually. It's yep. a first crunch, versus crunch, fourth. Crunch match at the top. It's a win for Indonesia. They still have not lost a game yet. Fantastic. And they are now, they are now three ahead. Next up is Kuwait versus Chinese Taipei. It's a win for Kuwait, 4-0. Looking pretty good at the moment, I'd say, for the uh, uh, for the for the top seven teams. Actually, there's a three-point gap between Tahiti and Taipei so far. Good for them. Maldives versus Vanuatu. Oh, the bottom of the table. Nice. There you go. It's a 2-1 win for Vanuatu. There you go. Maldives now on minus 57 goal difference. Actually, to be honest, they actually haven't done too bad in the last. Five games. Yeah, they must have won a couple games, haven't they? Because they, they were on minus 50. And then five games after, and they're, they're only on minus 57. I mean, it's still an average of over two a game, but yeah. yeah. That's not bad. Right, Yemen now against New Caledonia, Mauritius. Um, ninth versus tenth. One t if, whoever wins this is going to be in contention. Whoever loses this is probably out. It's a win for New Caledonia, Mauritius. Good for them. Good They're two behind Taipei. They're five behind Tahiti in uh, seventh. We've got Afghanistan next. And it's a final win for Afghanistan. So New Caledonia Mauritius could. They could start pushing forward. Here come some points for the Solomon Islands against Cambodia who have given up and gone home. Even PT Can has buggered off. There Even PT Can has buggered off. He had a um, he had a he had a training session with the uh, with the Thailand team, uh, so we decided to do that instead. Since Cambodia's team is obviously not doing anything for him. So there we go. There we go. And uh, that's gonna be some uh, uh, the first victory of the campaign for the Solomon Islands. Good on them. Which is not saying too much because not even PT can turned up. Oh. Good old PT Can, best player in the world. Messi, pfft. Draw a PT Can. Pele, pfft. You can hold a can, hold a PT Can. Ronaldo. <laughs> All he can do is wink. Right, I'm still salty about that as well. I, th I think the whole country is. <laughs> right, uh, Fiji versus Nepal is next up, so uh, could be a good chance to get for Fiji to get some points if they can beat the high-rising Nepal at the moment. It's a draw, Nepal have helped Fiji, Fiji do a draw. Wow. It's a good result for Nepal there. See, Fiji so far is starting to get there. Yeah. Hong Kong versus Myanmar next. 
portable for this for uh, for Myanmar to keep winning and keep the momentum up. Yep, it is a win for Myanmar, but it's only one nil. Now it's Taipei, Chinese Taipei versus Indonesia. This could be the opportunity if Indonesia beat Taipei for Mauritius New Caledonia to sneak into eighth. It is a three-one win for Indonesia. Taipei starting to slip a bit now. There we are. Kuwait versus Turkmenistan is next up. It's fourth versus third, uh, fourth versus fifth. And it's a win for Turkmenistan. They move up uh, just two points uh, shy of second place. I think Indonesia are pretty too strong to win, to, uh, to be stopped, I think. Yeah. Yemen versus Maldives, uh, a 3 0 win for Yemen. So Maldives actually not doing too bad now. And Mauritius, New Caledonia, have got Vanuatu, which is a 2 0 win for Mauritius. They move up into eighth. They're well in the eighth, two behind Tahiti. Wow. And Tahiti in that in that good old seventh spot. They need to keep this up. So do Fiji on that point. Fiji four ahead, but that could go within a few fixtures. And we have four fixtures to go. It's getting so, a bit dramatic now. Yep. So teams that could not qualify um, uh, and not be the dud team are Vanuatu, Solomon Islands, Maldives, and Cambodia because they buggered off. Um, everyone else, though, still can, but... Still, Hong still in contention. Yeah. Hong Kong, though, they need to win all their games. Tall order. It right. is tall order. Afghanistan versus Vanuatu. It's an 11-0 win for, for Afghanistan. Great performance from them. Yemen are getting some points here because they're going against Cambodia, who are buggered oh, off, but uh, PT Cans turned back up again. Oh, is he back again? Yeah, he's back. He's back from his little um, his little training session in Thailand, and um, <laughs> yeah, he's he's back and he's actually playing amazingly well. Sadly, it's still gonna be three nil because they don't have a keeper. But PT Can actually got mad of the match here again. Nice, good job for PT Can. Best player in the world. Absolutely. Yeah, so we have, uh, I think we have, what, four four fixtures to go, I think, uh, for every team. So it's getting close now, especially with those sort of fifth to ninth teams, maybe even tenth. That's the thing, you know, it is, it is towards, you know, as, as we saw in the Champion of Champions, you know, it's not over until what, the very last fixtures played, you know, you still have a surprise pop up. And, you know, obviously, I think, I think it was the last set of fixtures where it was just like one point... Yeah. Would have done it for, for the for the team to not be the dead team in the in the bracket, but they were. Yeah. You know, it's one of those things. Yeah. Next up is Turkmenistan, who are currently looking pretty decent right now, uh, versus Fiji, who need a win. My money's probably going to be on Fiji again. It's a win for Turkmenistan. Oh, there you go. Uh, next up is Taipei versus Hong Kong. Taipei currently in tenth, and they have got a three 0 win over Hong Kong. They push Yemen down to ninth. And uh, New Caledonia Mauritius down to 10th. And uh, are now on joint points with Tahiti. Ooh, it's close. Could Tahiti lose it right at the end? That would be such a shame if it, if it yeah. could happen, but we'll see. Myanmar, Indonesia. Two of the top teams. Second versus fourth here. Indonesia for me. It is a win for Indonesia. They keep on moving on. They still have not lost a game yet, by the way. Mar Crazy. They've had a great, great performance. I think they might qualify in Indonesia for the for the actual global trophy. You never know. Next up is uh, Nepal, Kuwait. It's a 10-0 win for Kuwait. They are looking pretty strong right now, pretty solid. Yeah, you'd say Kuwait would uh, would do all right, and they have done. Yep. Oh, bottom of the table, Solomon Island versus the Maldives, 14th versus 15th. It's a win for the Maldives. They beat Solomon Islands 3-1. There you go, the, the, the crucial match. Not that you crucial know, <laughs> Who would, finish bottom, who, who would finish bottom? Well, it's going to be the Solomon Islands. Well, At the moment, unless bottom. they can get a, a freak win. Looks like yeah. they're going to finish bottom. Um, next up is Tahiti versus Mauritius New Caledonia. Mauritius New Caledonia really need a win here. Against Tahiti. They do win against Tahiti. Mauritius New Caledonia move up to 7th. Tahiti, Tahiti push to 8th. Tahiti looking a bit ropey now. It's close. Yep. It is very close. Um, so, uh, I can safely say that with three games to go, um, Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, and Indonesia have all qualified. And Afghanistan putting the 
stamp on that with a 3-1 win over Yemen. There you go. Uh, Vanuatu are going to get some points here against Cambodia. Uh, PT Can is still there. He's still there. And he is the, the best player in the world. Sadly, he's a defender, so... He doesn't really get up too often. He never really gets a chance. He can't really pass to himself. And, oh my god, it's Ian Ball as the referee. Bloody Ian Ball, mate. He is actually just the football. The football the, is not the referee. The, 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 the ball is the ref. <laughs> <coughs> the it's randomest sentient. of things. It's sentient. It's sentient. The randomest of things. There was no... There were no free kicks, penalties... Nothing of that. There were no fouls in the game whatsoever, actually. It was odd. There was certainly no bookings because him trying to get a, uh, a yellow or red card out with no appendages would be interesting. It'd be difficult to do, wouldn't it? And uh, man of the match is obviously Mr. PT Can. Best was it? The world. Best player in the world. Yes. Best in the world. Right. Uh, Fiji versus Taipei next is sixth versus uh, ninth here. A win for Taipei will be big here. Massive win. It's a 4-3 win for Fiji. They keep on powering through. P Fiji, I think, have pretty much qualified at this point. They're, they can't be far off. They are close. They are very close. Next up is Turkmenistan versus Hong Kong. It's a 4-1 win for uh, Turkmenistan. Well. Nice. Indonesia have got Nepal. It's a 12-0 win for Indonesia. They are still undefeated with two wow. games to go. Myanmar versus Kuwait now. It's fifth versus fourth here. And it's a win for Kuwait. They move above Myanmar. Myanmar down into fifth, but I think they've done enough. Maldives versus Tahiti. And that's a 2 0 win for Tahiti. Tahiti move back above Mauritius, New Caledonia. But Mauritius, New Caledonia fight right back with a 2 0 win over Solomon Islands. Only a small win, really, but not bad. It, you know, it, it was enough to, to do. Yep. Now, with only six left. Um, Kuwait have qualified. There you go. Well played to Kuwait. Myanmar will qualify with uh, two points. Fiji will qualify if they can get a few more points. I think they need like four more points to qualify automatically. Unless Tahiti and Taipei and everything, something goes wrong. It's Turkmenistan versus Afghanistan. Two teams that have already qualified. It really doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter to them either. It's a draw. So there we go. Uh, Taipei are going to face um, a, uh, Cambodia. So that's a three point for Taipei, which is very important. Taipei need, needed the win. Yep, and they've uh, they've waited until now of all times to face New Caledonia, and no way. Today's referee is Mr. V. Jones. <laughs> Vinny, <laughs> not Vinny. Okay, so what happened is the team actually turned up, and Vinny Jones beat him up. Just punched him in the, the head. Referee punched him for not turning up for like the last. Seven. Apart from PT Can, he was fine because he turned up for most of them, so. But the rest of the team got knocked the F out by Vinnie Jones. Dear, oh dear. By the referee, Mr. Vincent Jones. Former football player and Hollywood star, Vinnie Jones. Of course, of course, of course. Lock, stock, two smoking barrels. And um, it's actually. Uh, oh no! Oh, it's PT Can's long nemesis, long term nemesis, PT. Uh, T. Feeing Pan. Who was the man of the match for Taipei there? There you go. There we go. Ah. That win for Taipei means that they're still in contention at the moment. Next up is Vanuatu versus Fiji. It's a 5-0 win for Fiji. And they're, they're oh, they? nearly safe. They're nearly there. They're nearly through. Hong Kong versus Yemen is next up. And it's a draw. And Yemen are not looking good now. Tenth place. Uh, uh, I don't think that... No, they're not going to do it. They're out. Yemen are out of the con of contention. There you go. So it's only night upwards now that can qualify. Yep. Uh, Indonesia have got the Solomon Islands. It's an 8-0 win for Indonesia. They keep on moving on and are going to finish first. There you go. They've won it. Fair play to them. Yep. Tahiti versus Kuwait next is an important match for Tahiti. They need to beat Kuwait. They don't. It's a 4 0 win for Kuwait. Tahiti still in eighth. They can still do it. Yep. Maldives versus Myanmar. It's a 5 0 win for Myanmar. Myanmar are through. There you go. And Mauritius Nepal to finish off. It's a 1 0 win for Mauritius. Tahiti. So, 
our top seven have qualified. There you go. So, uh, there you go. It's all over. Yep. So it's just all about who's going to be the dud team. And it's going to be between Yemen, Taipei, and Tahiti. It's a shame, really, that Tahiti kind of fell by the wayside towards the end. But obviously, yep. they, had a, they had a good start, but it just kind of fell apart for yep. them. Uh, at this rate, it's not going to be Taipei. They lost 9-0 to Afghanistan. Turkmenistan are going to get Cambodia, who... Uh, uh, I've come back. Uh, However, they just they just lost. They just lost. Yeah, they just lost 3-0. Yeah, that's, that, that's it against Turkmenistan. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a good performance for them, to be honest. And it's Al Harper who is the referee here. Okay. Well, at least that bloody Faroe Islands conspirator didn't turn up for this one. So that's a plus. There you go. Can't remember his name. He was that insignificant. But I think we can remember the refereeing standards of Mr. V. Jones, I think. Amazing stuff. Of, uh, of, uh, yes, yes. Hollywood actor and former footballer Vinnie Jones. Vincent Kennedy Jones. Cuthbert Vincent, Jones. K Vincent Cutter Jones. Vincent Cuthbert Jones. Dear me. Cuthbert, 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 Cuthbert Jones. So I always thought that was a funny name, you know, Cuthbert. My old teddy bear used to be called Cuthbert. Cuthbert. Cuthbert Lily. Oh, Zap! Yeah, that's where I remember it from. Anyway, Yemen. Uh, they can't do anything here, but they're against Fiji, who are already through. It's a nil-nil draw. Fiji will take that. I think they're through. Yep. Hong Kong versus Vanuatu. It's a 2-1 win for Hong Kong, who move above Vanuatu and Nepal like it matters. Indonesia have got Tahiti. Indonesia win 5-0. So Tahiti do go through, but they are going to be the dud team. Shame, but at least they made it into the, the, the main bracket. That's the main thing. Yeah. Uh, Kuwait versus the Solomon Islands. Kuwait obviously already threw a 13-0 victory. Send them into fourth. Indonesia have gone through as champions. And on these preliminaries without losing a game. Brilliant stuff. Fair play to them. Yep. Uh, Maldives versus Nepal. 2-1 win for Maldives. They won. Wow. Another game. Wow. Meaning they end on minus 64 goal difference. Solomon Islands, minus 68 for them. Brilliant stuff. Uh, and lastly, Myanmar versus Mauritius, uh, New, Ca uh, New Caledonia. And it's a win for Myanmar to finish off the league. There you go. So, Fair play to Myanmar. Yep. So in uh, last place with no points, obviously, is Cambodia. Cambodia. Yep. Uh, in 15th place with four points is the Solomon Islands. Yeah, they didn't really have a, a great time, did they? No. Uh, eight goals for, 76 goals against, Whew. minus 68 goal difference. Well, it was worse than the Maldives, that's something. Yep. Uh, in 14th place with nine points is Vanuatu. Wait, they finished below the Maldives. Yep. Uh, because of uh, Maldives, uh, they got an extra point, actually, out of it. There you, there you go. Uh, uh, Vanuatu with uh, 11 goals for, 63 goals against, with a minus 52 goal difference. So, not as bad as Solomon Islands. In 13th place is the Maldives. Yep. <laughs> um, with 10 points, uh, 11 goals for, 75 goals against, with a minus 64 goal difference. No, not too bad. Very, no, yeah, I know, it's not too bad, it's bloody awful. It, all, all things considered, all things considered, it's not too bad. It's bloody awful. Yeah, it is. In 12th place, with 11 points, with a minus 52 goal difference, is Nepal. Yeah, it's, it's a flag. In 11th place, with uh, 11 points as well, with a, with a better goal difference, minus 33, is uh, Hong Kong. But if, considering, again, it's a principality, not bad. Yeah, they do alright. Then there's a big step to the teams that actually bothered. Yep. Uh, in 10th place with 20 points is Yemen. Yeah, they, they started all right, but they just, they just kind of went a bit wrong. They just couldn't get enough goals. I mean, their goalkeeper was amazing throughout the tournament or throughout the league. 15 goals played, 10 goals let in. Wow. Very good performance from Yemen's keeper. Brilliant performance from Yemen's keeper. In ninth place, missing out is, tai is Chinese Taipei on 22 points. Again, considering it's quite a small nation, they did all right. Yep. In uh, eighth place, also with 22 points, winning uh, eighth place and going through, but being the dud team with a minus three goal difference, only five goals between them is well, Tahiti. Well, well, Tahiti just missing out on the uh, seventh place, but you know, they, I think they'll be happy to just qualify really. Yeah, it'd be very good for them. Uh, seventh place with 26 points is Mauritius, representing New Caledonia. They've made it. 
They did make it in the end. A very surprising effort, but they did it. Yeah, they made it. Brilliant performance there for uh, Mauritius representing New Caledonia. Sixth place, I think it's got to be the shocker of this, I think, which is uh, on 28 points, sixth place is Fiji. I did say they qualify. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, Fiji did amazingly well. Only lost three games throughout the entire throughout the entire thing. Only letting 14 goals ended on a plus 18 goal difference. Huge effort from, from Fiji. Well done. Yep. Uh, then it jumps up again to the top five. Fifth place with 33 is Myanmar. They started really strongly. They kind of faded mid mid competition, but you know they did it enough to. Uh... Carry on, didn't they? So, yep. Uh, now in fourth place, my pick, or what two of my one of my two picks actually, on 35 points, which was Kuwait. Yeah, Kuwait did really well. Again, they, start, they started quite slowly, whereas they, they picked up on like Myanmar, who started quick and faded. Yeah. Uh, in third place, with 36 points, my other pick, Turkmenistan. Mm, they did all right again, didn't they? They, they, they? they were just kind of solid throughout. Yeah, um, they only let in six goals throughout the entire league. Amazing. And scored 57, a plus 51 goal difference for Turkmenistan. Fair play. In, Fair second, play. Pl in second place, with um, 38 points, a plus 74 goal difference for Afghanistan. Good on them. Good on Afghanistan. Again, they, they started quite slow, didn't they? But they, they did pick up towards the end. Yeah. And uh, last but not least, finishing first by five points. A team undefeated in the Global Trophy 20, 2019 so far. Um, only letting in four goals in 15 games. With a plus 84 goal difference. 88 <laughs> goals they scored throughout their campaign here. Indonesia, that is pretty much, while I try and count it, nearly six goals a game they scored. I think, I think they, um, they've won the uh, Asia section before, haven't they, Indonesia? Uh, I believe they have, yeah. So, considering they had to qualify, it's a bit of a shame for those guys, but... Yeah. They, I mean, what a performance. They, they, you know, as much as you, know, you, you might expect them to do quite well, they did really well. Yeah, so... Indonesia, Afghanistan, Turkmenistan, Kuwait, Myanmar, Fiji, Mauritius, and Tahiti... Well, Mauritius, New Caledonia... Will uh, all be making it through to the Asian qualifiers, where the top eight get a chance. At Global Trophy Glory, especially how, um, well, things have been uh, going very interesting in Asia. We've had some very strong teams. Uh, yeah. Very close. Yeah, it's true. I mean, and obviously, um, you know, so far, you know, the teams have beat, obviously, Australia. Yeah. Um, it's very, it's going to be very fascinating to see how they get on um, this time around. Obviously, the, the three times been beaten in Asia. Maybe this year, maybe this year they won't be able to. Obviously, you know, it's not a guaranteed science. You know, there's no guarantee that they're going to win it, but it, we're very close. We're very close. Yeah. So the these eight teams will be going up against China, Thailand, Iran, Japan, South Korea, Saudi Arabia, Australia, Syria, UAE, Lebanon, Oman, Iraq, Kurdish Republic, Uzbekistan, India, Qatar, Palestine, Vietnam. North Korea, Jordan, Bahrain, Philippines, Tajikistan, and New Zealand in the uh, in the Asian section. In the Asian section? Section. There yeah, we go. Should be very exciting. I'm, I'm looking forward to see how it goes out. Yeah, it'll be very interesting to see uh, see how that goes. Uh, but it, next week for the Global Trophy 2019, we will have the Preliminary League of Africa, including such teams like Mauritania, the Central African Republic, Botswana, Angola, Swaziland, Guinea-Bissau, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, and Togo. Yeah, it should be it should be exciting. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how it, how it goes. But um, yeah, we're, we're over halfway through the preliminaries now. We're getting we're getting to see you know how the brackets are going to form out. Yes, indeed. So we will see you next week for uh, for more global trophy antics and what is going to happen to Tanzania. Who knows? We'll find out next week, won't we? Yes, we will. We'll see you there. Right, I'm going to go for a dump and I'm going to go.